everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be doing a review on the essence eyeshadow palette if you do want to see a review and a demo please keep watching each eyeshadow palette retails for nine dollars and 99 cents at Ulta the first eyeshadow palette is called bonjour Montreal this eyeshadow palette has a lot of earthy tones it can be great for natural looks the next eyeshadow palette is called child Venezia I love the detail on the packaging it is so pretty when you open up this eyeshadow palette you can create a lot of daytime and nighttime looks as well the next eyeshadow palette I purchased is called hey LA this eyeshadow palette is so pretty on the inside it would be great to create Valentine's Day looks with it or just everyday looks with it. I love the color scheme in this eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be playing with today. I decided we're going to play with the Child Venezia eyeshadow palette. So let's take a closer look. Again, here's a closer look on what the eyeshadow palette looks like. When you flip it over to the back, you have a little description about what the eyeshadow palette is all about. And then you have the ingredients here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and open this up. I did forget to mention that this eyeshadow palette does come with a pretty decent size mirror. It does come with this plastic here on the back so you're just gonna pull it it just protects the shadows we're gonna open this up remove this film we no longer need that now you guys can see the beautiful 9 p.m. eyeshadow palette I do want to read a little bit about what it does say on the back it's impossible not to fall in love on a romantic gondola ride through the canals of Venice the Renaissance culture of this unique city comes alive with this nine highly pigmented eyeshadows that can be used to create beautiful rosy looks with a pop of blue I'm gonna start with the first shade here in the palette Ooh. Ooh, so soft in the pan. None of these eyeshadow shades have any names on it, so I'm just gonna point to the shade that we're gonna be working with. It's a little bit patchy. Let's kind of blend this out, see what we get. So pretty. Let's see what the next shade swatch is like. I do want to build this shade up and we'll blend it out. Here's what that shade looks like. The next shade we have this beautiful purple with a little bit of sparkle in it. Let's see what this swatch is like. Wow. This purple is definitely the most pigmented out of the first two. The next shade is a dark chocolate shadow. I do want to build up this chocolate shadow. We'll blend her out. The next shade looks like a teal with a little bit of shimmer. Let's see what this swatch is like. That is gorgeous. The next shadow looks like a tan shade. So soft in the pan. I do want to build this shade up. We'll blend it out. Let's see what the next shade swatch is like. Wow. So pigmented. I love that shade. The next shade is this beautiful pink. Again, very nice and creamy in the pan. Pretty. And let's see what the last shade in the eyeshadow palette looks like. Very buttery in the pan. Here we have all nine shades swatched on the back of my hand. Now we're going to create a look using this eyeshadow palette. Taking a fluffy brush, we're going to dip into this tan shade. We're going to be placing that in our crease. That shadow blended out really nicely. A little bit does go a long way. Taking a flat brush, we're gonna dip into this teal shade. We're gonna be placing that shade in the center of our lid. Wow, that shade is so pigmented. I did not have to wet my brush. I'm using my brush dry.
Using that same flat brush, we're gonna dip into this shadow here. We're gonna be placing that on our outer V. That shade did have a little bit of fallout. I do like how it kind of defined the outer V a bit. It looks really good. Swapping my brush for a smaller flat brush, we're gonna dip into this pink shadow. We're gonna be placing that in our inner corner. Taking that pink shade, we're gonna place that right next to the green shadow, just to add a little bit more oomph to the look. That looks really pretty. I was gonna place it in my inner corner and then I decided not to. It looks way better next to the green. Now we're gonna take this other pink shadow, we're gonna place that in our inner corner. I'm gonna clean up everything underneath my eyes and I'll be right back. I cleaned the fallout underneath my eyes. Here's what the final look looks like. For mascara, I went in with my Urban Decay Perversion. I added two layers of this mascara. For lips, I currently have on the KKW Cream Lipsticks. This is the shade number three. My final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette is that I like all the shades. I especially like the shimmer shades in this palette. You get five shimmers and four matte shades. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.